Today we're going to be showing you how to install these Covercraft Marathon seat covers on this 2019 GMC 1500 Crew Cab. This is also going to be the same install on the Chevy Silverado 1500 Crew Cab. Let's get started. So once we've chose the correct seat cover for this front passenger side, we're going to undo the Velcro so that we can slide it over the front headrest. We'll go ahead and slide that up. And then we will shimmy this cover all the way down in the rear. And then do the same for the front. Then we can reconnect the Velcro underneath the headrest. Now that we have the seat rest covering the back, we're going to expose this buckle here and we're going to feed this through the crease in the seat and then we'll go around to the back and grab that. So now that we've fed the buckle through the back, we're going to need to expose this uh, carpeted part right here. So we'll disconnect these buckles on the back side. Now we have our strap from the front, so we'll feed that through. Then we'll go around and connect that on the front side. Now that the strap is fed through to the front of the seat, we're going to reconnect our factory hooks onto the underside of the seat. And we will tighten this onto this Velcro. Now that we've fed the buckle through the back, we're going to connect it to this piece right here. So we're going to drape that over, push this towards the back, and then now we'll buckle it together. Now we're going to tuck the sides in, snug everything to the back, and as we snug it to the sides, we can pull on that strap that will pull it towards the back of the seat and keep everything nice and tight. Now. For this side, you're going to want to get it started inside of this plastic area right here. <clears throat> get it pulled about where, about where it should be sitting. And then you can take any sort of prying tool like this and you can start to feed it inside of this plastic frame around your seat. This will keep the seat cover where it needs to be and give you a finished look. Installing the headrest cover is just as easy as it looks. With the headrest in the upright position, slide it over, hook the Velcro portion through the back, connect it, and then you can lower it right back down and repeat the exact same steps on the driver's side. Now onto the back seat. Before we can install the seat covers, we're gonna have to do a few things first in order to remove this rear seat lean back. So first, you're going to locate four of these 10 millimeter silver bolts that are located underneath the seat up against the back wall of the cab. Once those are removed, you're going to need to remove the headrests and then remove the headrest seat posts. They're gonna look like this, and you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and push in on this tab. In order to release those, you're gonna remove all six. Lastly, you're going to need a hook tool or something similar in order to release the latches on the back of the cab. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to release each one of these latches. And as you're doing so, you need to make sure that you're putting a wedge or having somebody pull back on it so it does not re-engage back into that latch. And then once all three are released, your seat will be released. Okay, so now that we've taken our back seat lean back cover, we're going to slide this underneath the seat belt. We're going to attach each corner here. Attaching the Velcro behind the seat buckle post. Continuing it along the back and stretching it over the corner. Then we can take our buckles and start feeding these underneath. For some of your buckles, you'll need to unclip them, find the strap that they're supposed to go to, and go ahead and feed that through. Now 
and then you can feed them back. So now that we pull it through the back, we're going to buckle it to the bottom of the seat cover here, and then we'll tuck that back under, and then we'll fold the seat up and tighten it down. And then we'll repeat that on the opposite side. Now that we've fed the buckle through the back of the seat, we can go ahead and tighten that up. And fold the seat back down. And we'll repeat that on the opposite side. Now that the back is done, we'll move on to the two-thirds bottom. So we're going to fold this over. Again, we're going to put our corners on first. Get that just about where it needs to be. It doesn't have to be perfect just yet. And then I found it easiest if you take the straps and you feed the straps through the back of the seat first. Then you can fold the seat up, find your straps, once you've done that, we can take our buckles off of the bottom, attach them onto our straps. Now once all of these are tight, you can repeat that on the one-thirds bench. Okay, now we can put the console cover on. So we're first going to slide it over. Gotta make sure to feed our strap through the hole in the center. And then we will tuck the bottom Velcro flap underneath while the console is folded down. You can then find it in the back. Pull it tight and attach the Velcro. Now we can put our covers on our headrest before we install them in the back of the seat. And with the driver and passenger headrest, make sure that the button is lined up to the hole. and repeat on the opposite side. Now that our seat covers are fully installed, we can go ahead and reinstall our seat back. So if you remember those three clips that are right here, we're going to simply push the seat back into those clips in order to re-engage them, and then we will install our headrest posts. So now with our headrest posts back in and our seat lean back re-engaged to the back of the cab, we can go ahead and install our headrests. And now we will reinstall our four 10 millimeter bolts in the back of the cab.
And there you have it, it's just that easy. Now once they start to get broken in, you can go back and tighten them up and get out any extra slack in them. But other than that, feel free to give us a call, visit us online.